Hello everyone, George here with Catholic Positive Energy. Welcome. Uh, nice to see everyone here. I've had a lot going on. I'm actually getting over a cold. Hope it's not obvious. But I am feeling a lot better today as a, opposed to yesterday. So I've had a lot going on with school. I just started writing a paper now on the Mosaic Covenant. Please let me know if you'd like me to talk about that in a future broadcast, and I'll be more than happy to talk about it. So anyways, today what I want to talk about is caring for strangers. That's the title of this broadcast. Now, many of you may not know, but one of my jobs is I'm an armed security guard at a shopping center. And my main purpose is to kick out homeless people, trespassers, people who are loitering, and deal with anyone who may have been shoplifting or causing any kind of trouble in the shopping center. Now the other day, uh, something happened, and this, this is why I wanna share this with you. Now in one of my previous broadcasts from way, way back, I talked about the importance of caring for others. This one, is, just, is slightly different. I want to talk about caring for strangers. Now, the other day I was dealing with an individual who was intoxicated and they were outside one of our stores being disrespectful to people walking by. This person was not all there. And they wanted, to, they were asking random people walking by to give, give him a ride somewhere because he didn't have a car. And one of the people he asked, he asked, uh, there, there was a woman there with her mother. Uh, you know, the mother was uh, in, in a walker and the, the daughter, well, she, did, she wasn't a very young person. But they didn't appreciate it that this gentleman was asking them for a ride when they don't even know him. And they didn't like his approach. Came across as being... Uh, very strange. So when I dealt with him and basically I made him stop bothering them, I, I basically asked him to go sit off to the side because I'd already called the police and he stopped paying attention to these two women. And I never met these women before and they could see based on the way I was dressed up that I was a security guard and I had properly dealt with the situation. They were so happy that I got him to stop interacting with them. You know, they thanked me and they said that I'm doing a good job. It's nice to get that pet on the back. Like I always say, dignification is better than criticism, but that's not uh, what I'm mainly concerned about. It's not the pet on the back. They were happy because I cared about them. Even though I did not know them, they did not know me, they're happy that I cared. Now this is what I wanna talk about. I'm sure many of you watching, you have careers or maybe you have two jobs like me and you're very busy. Maybe you have a spouse and kids and you're very busy with that. You don't have a lot of free time, but you love your life and you're happy. You're busy working, getting kids off to school, getting them home, getting them to soccer practice, karate, whatever extracurricular activities they have. Or maybe you're somebody who probably doesn't have kids yet and you're busy with your own life, working, going to school, etc. cetera. And, and because you're busy with your daily routines, you probably never really think it in your, in, in your thoughts to care for strangers. This is, a, I recently took a philosophy for theology class. It was very wonderful. All the classes I'm, I'm taking in grad school are absolutely wonderful. But here's something that uh, I learned, and I believe that, yeah, the philosopher's name was Joseph Piper, P-I-E-P-E-R. <clears throat> Uh, Joseph, I, I believe it's J-O-S-E-F, not P-H. Anyways, Joseph Piper has said that 
A lot of people in this world are concerned with the utilitarian world, the workaday world. Always going to work, coming home, resting, starting another work day all over again, pretty much every day of the week. People are mainly concerned with their jobs, making a living, contributing to society, paying taxes, that sort of thing. Now, have you noticed that there, that there are a lot of people out there in the world, especially for those of you who live in major cities, you see people walking by you all the time, going to their cars, going to the bus, the subway, whatever. They're mainly concerned and thinking about their own lives. They're not thinking about the people walking past them, getting off the train, the bus, their cars, whatever. People who go to a major, uh, you know, a very public area like the beach, a shopping mall. There are a lot of people there. Do they all care about each other? No. Now, I'm not trying to say that people are bad people because they don't care about people around them. But what I'm saying is, when people go someplace, a highly crowded place, normally, they don't care about the people around them. And if someone were to approach them, maybe, you know, obviously a stranger, and try to engage in just a nice, friendly conversation. Now, if, if, if the person didn't feel like they hit it off, they wouldn't care about that person who spoke to them. Now, I don't know you. I don't care about you. I don't want to hear your, your backstory. That's going on a lot in today's world. And that's what I see is wrong with the world. Now, I can't possibly fix this on my own, but I'll try to continue to reinforce this because this is something I've noticed. There are a lot of people out there who go out into the world and don't care about the people around them who they regularly see. Now, I'll admit I'm very busy. I don't have time to think about it, what's going on in everyone else's life, but that doesn't mean that I don't care. I do care. It's just I have a lot going on. But when I have some free time, like right here, right now with you, then yes, I'll spend that time caring about each and every one of you. I'm the type of guy who cares about everybody. I really do. Now, there are some people who rub me the wrong way, and I wouldn't exactly... I wouldn't want to be too much concerned with uh, what's going on in their lives. Obviously, it's something bad if they're treating me badly and I didn't do anything to them to begin with. That says a lot about who they are not about who I am. But as far as people who I regularly see, like when I go to church, I see some of the same people, I'll say hello. I'll talk for as long as my time permits. And it's a lot of fun. But like I say, can you imagine what the world would be like if people started caring about other people more? You know, I mean, like when you go to church, <clears throat> wouldn't you like it a little bit more if, uh, you know, some of those people who you regularly see, who you, you may not know them, maybe you know their name, maybe you don't, maybe if you had a, a conversation with them, a nice, positive, meaningful conversation, and you could see that they cared about you, wouldn't that put a little smile on your face? Or, let's flip it the other way around. If you approached some strangers at church, people who you regularly see, and you got to know them on more than just a superficial level, and you had a nice conversation, and you hit it off, wouldn't that put a smile on your face? It would for me. I love getting to know people on more than just a superficial level. I'll admit there are certain people who I regularly see, and we don't always talk on a deep level, but I know them well enough to know certain things about them. You know, if they're married, have kids, if they travel, where they traveled, if that makes them happy. That's, an, that's I'd say that's a little bit beyond superficial. But what I'm saying is, when you get to talk, you know, to someone, and you see you, that they care for you and you care for them, you don't feel like bad-mouthing them. No, I mean, that's, that's a good person. Now, obviously, if there's somebody who you sometimes have to deal with 
and you know that this person is keeping a professional distance from you, like, hmm, trying to think of a good example. Let's say if you see a, a counselor or a psychologist. Now, obviously, they have to keep a professional distance from you. And I'm not talking about social distancing. They can't be your friend. Or school teachers. You know, I don't know if I have any younger kids uh, watching me here. Anybody between kindergarten and 12th grade, between the ages of 5 and 18. Your school teachers have to keep a professional distance from you. But I'm, t I'm talking about people outside of those categories. I'm talking about someone who does not have to keep a professional distance from you, but when you see that they care about you, you know, you walk away feeling good. Because I already know, and I'm sure many of you already know this, but I want to expand on this. When you go out into the world, the majority of the people who you interact with, especially at your jobs, normally don't care about you. They don't care about other people. They're just there to make a living, to do their eight and hit the gate and go home. I want to encourage all of you, please try not to be like this. All right? I know we all have lots of things going on in our lives. We probably, you know, we have some very good friends, some very wonderful family members in our lives who, who we know really well. We got our friends, we got our family. Oh, I don't have time to be friends with coworkers. Well, that, that, that's not wrong, but it's also not caring. If you have people in your lives who are willing to speak to you for more than five seconds, you should care about them, or at least try. Now obviously, let's say you have a job where, I've had plenty of these, you come to work and you're relieving somebody so they can go home and then you start your work day. If all they ever do is tell you, like, like, like they, they spend very short periods of time talking to you, like, okay, Nothing to report, have a nice day. That is somebody who does not care about you. They're just there to tolerate you, to deal with you. I'm trying to help create a world that has less and less people like that. You should first be grateful that that person came to work on time to relieve you so you could go home. Treat them with some respect. Hi, how are you? Yeah, there's nothing to report here. It's been a great day. Hope your day's been great. And then maybe they'll say a few things to you. And then you end the conversation on a positive note. Hey, you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. See, which one of those sounds better? See what I mean? When you show strangers that you are a caring person, it will brighten their day. Just like I brighten the day of these two ladies who I helped who were really weirded out by this intoxicated person. They were glad that I cared. I, I uh, was surprised. I brightened their day just by doing my job and having a positive attitude. It wasn't hard. It didn't take a whole lot of effort at all. We need to start caring about people around us. You don't have to be buddies with everybody around you, but just care. Have a positive smile on your face. Do the right thing. Don't be selfish. Don't just make it about you all the time. It's not hard. I, I love using Mr. Rogers as an example. He cared about everybody. He really did. And he is one of the most wonderful human beings who've, who has ever lived. Obviously, his show was directed more at, uh, you know, children, people, you know, in preschool years prior to kindergarten. But he, he was very kind. And a lot of people, I know a lot of grown men who don't focus on that, you know. They have a job that they may not particularly like, and they come home with a very unpleasant attitude, you know, as they come home and take off their shoes and their socks, and then, you know, they're, they're, they're cranky. Please try not to be that way yourself. You know, 
I had my best friend recently told me 80% of uh, Americans hate their job. I don't doubt that. I'm sure that's true. But even if you don't have that dream job, even if your life is not as perfect as you would like it to be, doesn't mean that your life sucks. Okay? I hear this a lot. Somebody will say, oh, life sucks. Well, that's because that person feels that way. That doesn't mean that life really is that way. The person who said that is in a, is in a bad place for, at the moment, and that's why they're saying that. So, based, so more, to be more accurate and more specifically, when, when, when a person says life sucks, that means their life sucks, at least for that moment. Not that life as a whole sucks. It doesn't. There have been a lot of times, because like I said, for most of my life, I was, I was not in a good place, and I, didn't even, I wasn't even fully aware of it. There were a lot of times I would have agreed with that statement. I don't anymore. Because I've learned there's more to it, more more to life. And when I had a very dear friend, my, my dear friend Holly, who I met a little over two years ago, you know, when I saw her broadcast, just like this one that I have right here, and I saw that she is a very caring, loving human being, and when I met her in person and I got to know her and I saw how much she cares about me, That really warmed my heart. I'm sure a lot of, there are a lot of people out there watching who want to do good things and would like to be uh, recognized for those good things. Well, it's not hard to do. All you have to do is care. All you have to do is care about other people. Now, if somebody rubbed you the wrong way and they were very rude to you and maybe they did it more than once and you have a bad image of that person, it's understandable that you would want to keep a distance from that person and probably never speak to them again if you didn't have to. Okay. You tried to be nice to them. You tried to be caring. This person is very, very disrespectful and you would like it. Uh, you, you think it would be best for you if you just didn't speak to them anymore. Okay. You, at least you tried. But if you try to have that happy face, sincere, genuine, happy face, and that sincere, genuine, caring attitude, and you show people that, it's not hard to do, you can brighten people's days. You can make this world a better place. It can be healthier. It can be more pleasant. It can be more positive. It can be more fun. It can be more blessed. <clears throat> Please try not to have that selfish look on your face. I see this on a lot of people. You know, they, they, as soon as they, they get through with their day, their work day or whatever, running errands, going to the grocery store, whatever, by the time they're done, they come home and they're tired, they don't want to think about anything else. But a lot of times, people go their whole lives thinking that way. That's not right. Please try not to let this utilitarian world, the workaday world, consume you to the point where you don't care about anyone else but yourself or your family or your loved ones. Please try to care about other people. That can fill that small little part of emptiness that, that you may not even be aware that you have. Caring about others. You, you can brighten people's days. I don't know how, mu how much more I can emphasize that. But like I say, I feel like my day has been brightened when I meet someone who cares about me. And I want, and you know that I care about all of you. I really do. I'm not tolerating you. No. I love each and every one of you what I call all my followers, the holy saints, my holy saints. Something to think about. So please, if you take anything away from this broadcast today, please let it be that you care about strangers around you, people who are worth caring for. Amen? 
Amen. Well, thank you guys. Please continue to keep me in your prayers. And uh, I hope all of you are enjoying the summer. So please start caring about others, as many people as possible. And remember that dignification is better than criticism.